So Becky, it's that time of year where we start looking for Bible studies for the ladies. You know, last year we did Bonhoeffer and that was really good, very deep, and it made a lot of ladies wonder if they could ever be that spiritual. That's true, Lori. And so we turn to the Holy Spirit and hearing the Holy Spirit's voice in Priscilla Shire's Voice of God. It was a really good study. And as Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice. And do you know what? We did. Awesome. You know, what would be the logical next step from Holy Spirit study? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe... Fruit, Fruit of the, of the Spirit. Spirit. Bible studies are all about relationships. We begin when we want a deeper relationship with God. We study His Word. We pray and we hear His voice. As we are studying together, we find a surprising gift of a relationship with each other. We pray for each other, we care about each other, and we rejoice with each other. God smiles as we laugh and cry together. If you're thinking about joining a Bible study, now is the time. See you there! Holy Week begins Sunday, March 25th with Palm Sunday celebrations at all three worship services, 8, 9, and 11. We'll be remembering Jesus' triumphant entry into the holy city of Jerusalem. Then on Thursday, March 29th, we'll have a Monday Thursday service at 6 p.m. in our sanctuary as we remember Jesus' first Last Supper with his disciples. And then on Friday, March 30th, we will have a Tenebrae service on Good Friday at 6 o'clock in the sanctuary. It will be a service of remembrance of Christ's passion on the cross as we strip the sanctuary and remember what he has done for us. All these services help us prepare our hearts and minds to celebrate Easter on Sunday, April 1st. We hope to see you this year during all of our Holy Week services. I am Paul, the son of ten makers born in Tarsus, a Hebrew dwelling among the Gentiles, a Roman citizen and Jewish scholar called to follow Jesus Christ. I've been beaten, stoned, shipwrecked and imprisoned, faced dangers in the city, in the desert, and on the sea. I've endured sleepless nights, hunger and thirst, yet I do all of this for the sake of the gospel, and for this gospel will give my life.